your hottest hitter up there. Dave Martinez is a unique manager in that his ejections primarily concern odd rules like runner's lane or base path. So what's it going to be today? Oh, look at that. Look at me. I could throw you out. Two outs, one on in the eighth, and that one on tries to steal a base. Throw right to the bag and a very late call by Nate Tomlinson. Late call? That's called timing, cadence. Make sure the fielder has the ball before you call the out. I don't think Bosey appreciated the fact that he, he felt like that was a little late on calling that ball fair foul. That was the Bochy ejection. Just happened. Broadcasters recently wanting that instant gratification. <laughs> Anywho, caught stealing. Martinez wants to challenge. We go to replay. Yeah, you got to be 100% right that you're going to be in there trying to steal a bag with two outs. Strategy faux pas notwithstanding, the first thing I notice is... The tag appears to be before the runner touched the base, but more importantly is number two. Notice the fielder's left leg. His foot's all over the base. I mean, that's technically letter by law, right? That they put out there this year of obstruction at second base. While this ejection was happening, I was actually working on a video to explain what the obstruction point of emphasis for this year is. That video is coming out on Monday. I'm out of town, so no ejections from Saturday to Tuesday, but Using the foot to block the runner without the ball is precisely what this point of emphasis on obstruction this year was supposed to get. Foot, is it blocking the base? Technically, it is. Martinez is not going to like what's about to happen, and if you know the rules, you know exactly what it's going to be. Todd looks like he's on hold right now. The core issue is this looks like obstruction. The out call should be safe because of obstruction, especially this year's foot blocking point of emphasis. There's the obstruction rule. But guess what's not reviewable? Obstruction. I think Juan Soto hit a homer. Looks like it. Did he? Yeah, he homered. All right. This is how long the replay takes. We're already watching other games in the replay room. We know that obstruction is not reviewable, so the only thing that they're looking at is safe or out on the tag. Funny story, if this was home plate collision or a slide at second to break up a double play, that is reviewable. But garden variety obstruction? Because it impedes that hand getting on. No way. So replay comes back exactly how I thought it would. The runner's out. All right, so what's the obstruction rule? What's the obstruction? He's trying to get through to the replay people. Like, what are we watching? What are we doing here? To the broadcasters, to the managers. This play is not reviewable. Because this is not their call. It's his call. This was the replay, so he's trying to get over. No, it's not. On field is the only umpire who can call obstruction. And he's not part of the conversation. Why you throw me out, says Dave. Well, it was both of them that did it. That's the plural, them. Corey Blazers was first, so he's going to get credit for this one. He was having the conversation with the second base umpire out there. Sorry, Todd. To conclude, obstruction is not reviewable. That led to the out call being affirmed on the tag alone. Stay tuned for Monday's video, an in-depth look at this year's obstruction point of emphasis in the foolishness of replay policy. I'm out of town this weekend, so just one video each on Sunday and Monday. We'll see you on the site. Oh, and also channel members get to see the videos early.